Hi, thank you all for having me and uh, thank you for all the um, comments to date. Um, so I'm Mia Ridge, I'm Digital Curator for Western Heritage Collections at the British Library. Uh, when I joined the library in 2015, I became the product owner of the Universal Viewer at the British Library. So some work had already gone on with the viewer, um, but they were in the middle of development, um, developing new features. Um, and also I was involved in the process of negotiating the metadata that went into our AAAF manifests. So looking for commonalities across very varied collections, um, which was a quite complex task. Um, and I think my comments will build on many that have gone before. Um, but my one piece of advice would be doing user research and usability testing to help prioritize and clarify your requirements. Um, when I began, I inherited a really long list of requirements, some of which, of course, contradicted each other. Um, we didn't have the resources to um, implement them all. Um, and I didn't have the, we'd later commissioned usability work, um, which was really useful in terms of thinking about how we might better group items um, and functions on the viewer itself, but I didn't have that at the start. Um, so, and user research is usually a nice way of cutting through contradictory requirements within a project because if it's user focused, um, that can take away the heat from some of the other discussions. Um, particularly in a library that has really um, quite varied collections. I think two other things that I think were important would be having a workflow that allows frequent updates to code and allows you to iterate on your manifest design so that you can work with a small sample of representative items and iterate and test and actually show people what you're working on um, before you go back and create manifests at scale. One of the issues the library faces is just the sheer number of items. Um, I think it's 800,000 manuscripts in 14 million books and 4 million maps and whatever. So once you've created a manifest, that's kicking off quite a large process. Um, so as Andrew's comments bear out, there's some expectation management about how long that takes. And also outside of the project itself, understanding the complexity of systems in which content has been held for many decades in cases and how complex the process of migrating that into systems that were IIIF capable was going to be. Um, the project that I worked on uh, ended in, I think, late 2016, and we're really only just picking it up again now, and that's the resourcing issue. Um, we would have hoped to have kept working on it in the meantime, but I think where you can work iteratively and now we're in a much better place in terms of working with the community and working with updates that they're producing and not um, allowing, having systems that allow us to develop something that's specific to the BL's needs, but also stays in sync with what's happening in the wider UB community. Um, and probably one final piece of advice is just that it's the AAAF community and the Universal Viewer communities are generally full of lovely people who are quite happy to share what they know. Um, so actually it's been quite enjoyable being part of that community.